Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of uh, Chapter a Day Keeps the Doctor Away. My name is Alan, otherwise known as Heesui, and I'm from ReverseThieves.com as well as the Speak Easy Podcast. And this time I'm looking at Billy Bat, Chapter 111, The Truth of the Beginning. And this and the next two chapters are sort of a attempt to fill in a lot of the little holes that we've been wondering about for the last 110 chapters. A lot of these things I think we figured out, but uh, there are some new revelations and some of them are just kind of tying things together in, in a more digestible format. And we start off with kind of the most mundane of the revelations that the fake Chuck Kulnick sees that the original Kevin is going on a trip and he basically tracks down the editor and finds out he's going to Japan and that the editor has no idea really what to do with the comic strip since its creator is basically leaving for an indeterminate amount of time to Japan. And you can kind of see the fake Chuck Kulnick, the wheels turning in his head and ideas forming. And then we cut to Karusu, who we'll spend spending most of the next three chapters with. And we find out, once again, unsurprisingly, that he was the one behind the murder of uh, the head of the Railroad Commission that kind of started a lot of the story and you know is a famous historical incident um he's you know he gets contacted with that bat under the underpass and we find out that once again he had that fake manuscript and he's looking for the real manuscript and apparently he's narrowed it down to a piece of land uh, that the railroad commissioner has and he's like look people want to kill you these guys will kill you and if you give me the land then what do you call it i'll give you this list you can prevent these jobs find the traitors in your organization you don't have to die here everything's good otherwise i'm gonna have to go to the moon and that's just crazy talk and apparently the train commissioner is another person who knows about the whole Billy Bat conspiracy. And he's like, no way, man. If you're looking for, like, the bat on the moon or this manuscript, you're clearly one of the bad guys. I'm totally not going to give you this um, land or any other information. Because you're obviously just a villain trying to bring on the end of the world. And, uh, you know... Karusu doesn't think that that well, and we already know how that turns out, both historically and in the manga, with him getting sliced up by a train. But uh, now at least um, we kind of see that he's been working with the Yakisoba guy for a while, and that, once again, not that I think it's any surprise that he was behind the death of the railroad commissioner and that uh, what do you call it definitely still looking for that land once again not any kind of big shocking revelations but a lot of little things that have been implied kind of laid out in black and white so we know what's happened and uh how certain people knew certain things why certain people were are where they are in the manga or were in the manga when they were um so that's just a good bit of tying material but uh well kind of once again leaning into the moon being important uh, especially in the next two chapters not that it was you know up to this point we weren't sure that the billy bat on the moon was unimportant but uh Obviously, once again, leading breadcrumbs to uh, 
what was just kind of this oddity that wasn't we weren't exactly sure how it was going to fit into the plot but uh now at least we have a better understanding that uh Caruso was definitely trying to uh avoid that insane plot of oh yeah if you want to speak to Billy Bat again just go to the moon yeah so all right uh, and this was a quick chapter review, but once again, more of a connecting thing than anything else. All right. See you guys in the next chapter.